Hello, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, I get a lot of phone calls about this subject, and so I thought we'd spend a little time talking about it. And I get this question often, which is, can I carry my firearm loaded in my car? And one would think that the law would be very straightforward, but like with many things here in Washington State, the law is a little convoluted, a little hard to decipher. So I thought we'd spend a few minutes today talking about, can I carry a gun loaded in my car in Washington State? Well, before we get rolling, remember, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. If you want to stay up to date on all Second Amendment issues related to your rights here in Washington State, as well as nationwide, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And if you want to get notified of videos as we post them, go ahead and click that little bell logo down below. So the question today is, is can I carry a firearm loaded in my automobile? And the question really, the answer to that question, I should say, is very contingent upon a couple of things. Number one, what kind of firearm are we talking about? Number two, what is your status as a concealed pistol license holder? So today I'm going to kind of break it down. And what we're going to do is we'll break it down based upon the type of firearm that you might actually want to carry. And we might as well start with perhaps the most common weapon utilized for self-defense. And that, of course, is the handgun or pistol. Now, in Washington State, the statute which would govern this is RCW 9.41.050. And that statute specifically states, A person shall not carry or place a loaded pistol in any vehicle unless the person has a license to carry a concealed pistol and, one, the pistol is on the licensee's person, two, the licensee is within the vehicle at all times that the pistol is there, or three, the licensee is away from the vehicle and the pistol is locked within the vehicle and concealed from view from outside the vehicle. So I think it's pretty clear that under RCW 9.41.050, you can carry a loaded handgun in your automobile so long as first you could possess a valid concealed pistol license from Washington State or from one of the nine states that Washington actually recognizes out-of-state concealed carry licenses from. And even then, so long as you have a concealed pistol license, there are three conditions that you must meet, or one of three conditions you must meet, which is either that you are within the car with the pistol at all times, it is on your person at all times, or if you leave the firearm unattended in the vehicle, you, put, you store it in a manner where it is not detectable or viewable from people outside of the car. Now, let's talk about shotguns and rifles, because although RCW 9.41 governs just about everything related to firearms, when we get to shotguns and rifles, the regular Washington Firearms Act found in RCW 9.41 does not govern here. Instead, it is some fish and wildlife statutes found in RCW 77.15. In particular, let's pay attention to RCW 77.15.460, which reads as follows. A person is guilty of unlawful possession of a loaded rifle or shotgun in a motor vehicle, as defined in 4604.320, or upon an off-road vehicle, as defined in 4604.365, if a. The person carries, transports, conveys, possesses, or controls a rifle or shotgun in a motor vehicle, or upon an off-road vehicle, except as allowed by department rule, and B, the rifle or shotgun contains shells or cartridges in the magazine or chamber, or is a muzzle-loading firearm that is loaded, and capped or primed. Now, the statute has a very important definition, which creates a mild exception to this, and that's in subsection 5 of the statute, and it's important to pay attention to that. It reads as follows. For purposes of subsection 1 of this section, a rifle or shotgun shall not be considered loaded if the detachable clipper magazine is not inserted in or attached to the rifle or shotgun. And finally, you need to know that a violation of this law carrying a loaded shotgun or rifle in an automobile is a simple misdemeanor which is punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. So I think the law is fairly clear here, other than some of the exceptions that are found in these statutes, primarily for law enforcement, members of the military, U.S. Marshals, Fish and Wildlife, and such. 
as private citizens in Washington State, the only firearm that in all likelihood you're going to be allowed to legally carry loaded in your automobile is a handgun, so long as you can possess a valid concealed pistol license, and then you carry that firearm consistent with RCW 9.41.050. For other firearms, shotguns and rifles, and when I refer to rifles today, I am referring to bolt action, lever action, and yes, semi-automatic rifles. Same with shotguns, whether it's a pump action, lever action, or a semi-automatic shotgun. I think the rule is very simple. You cannot, in almost all circumstances, carry a shotgun or rifle loaded in your automobile. Listen, I hope that answers some of the questions and breaks down for you where, when and where you can or cannot carry a firearm loaded in your automobile. You may have some more questions, and that's fine. If you do, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us at WashingtonGunLaw.com. You can always email me directly, William at WashingtonGunLaw.com, or you can call us directly, 425-765-0487. Listen, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we preach here all the time at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself in. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.